global voices around the world and we have different speakers coming in to talk to the youth about their workshops and how to get involved in different areas like environment, economics, health. And since our theme is global voices, we want to hear the voices of the students. This year we had over 400 participants from around eight different schools. It's very nice to see that the conference is going somewhere for people and that we're reaching the students that are very much like us and what they want to do and what they want to see done in the world. The main purpose of our conference is not to reflect upon how depressing our world is or how upsetting it is to everyone that these issues exist. But we're here today because we want to raise awareness for these issues and that we are here to make a difference and we can do something about it. I'd like to congratulate the staff and the students of Victoria Park for striving to be great global citizens, improving our community and making a difference abroad. I'm delighted today to be joined by my colleague at Queen's Park, the Honorable Laurel Grove, Minister of Education. Minister, I know you have the opportunity to travel right across this great province to visit different schools, but I have to say, and I think the students here would agree with me, Victoria Park is one of the best schools in this great province of Ontario. Let me add my voice to Michael's that I am very proud of what you have done at Victoria Park. So congratulations. One of my favorite quotes is a quote uh, by Mahatma Gandhi, who says, be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change. Embody the change. Have your voice be heard, and that's what today is all about. So, as you embark on a continued journey today of activism and mobilization, have an open mind. Look for opportunities to make that change. You're going to have some wonderful guest speakers. Habitat for Humanity, Free the Children, many organizations uh, that are here. Heart Speak that will talk to you about how you can get involved. It's just to see the immediate impact that it has on the students. So at the end of the workshops, like I saw students approaching the speaker and asking questions and students like excited and smiling and talking about what they could do to expand on what they've learned in the workshops. We just saw a fantastic presentation. Continue doing exactly what you're doing right now. You know, participate in, in events, participate in discussions, organize them. The good news is that we have organizations really working towards this. The presentation about the maternal health and stuff was very inspiring. It really made me feel like I want to make a difference. I come from a country that's not really developed. I really like the Canadian Red Cross workshop. When all is said and done, what will your legacy have been? I decided that my legacy would be how I spread true goodness to everyone I could possibly reach. The speakers were young, they were almost our age, and also the techniques that they were using to get us involved were social media. It has to be global, um, and it has stands actually for health international perspective. So understanding the world through a health lens, but it also means about utilizing hip hop culture. Listening to the speakers inspires you and motivates you to do like to make a change in the world. I heard a great quote in my first workshop with Habitat for Humanity. The opposite of poverty is not wealth. The opposite of poverty is justice. What I really learned today was it's important to not change the physical aspect of people's conditions but also change our mindset. I've learned a lot about um, poverty and the, how I can become a leader in this global youth conference. I feel like we should do this more often because it clearly does inspire a lot of students. Take a look at the mural on your way out which you have helped create with your voices throughout today. And we hope to see you at next year's conference on April 3rd, 2013.